Help support the companies that support our community. I hot glued the blank to a piece of plywood. This will make it much safer when I cut it on the bandsaw. So I just roughed it up with some 80 grit sandpaper and then glued it on there. And then I found center on that piece of plywood and drilled a small hole into it for a quarter inch dowel. So the jig I'm using here on the bandsaw is a circle cutting jig. And you might remember probably last year, I think, at least a year ago, I did a wave box. A buddy of mine, Ron, showed me how to do these cool wave boxes. And you use this same technique. You just kind of find center on, on your piece. With the wave box, we actually just did wood and I drilled right into it. But I didn't want to waste any of the, the blank. So I did it a little bit different. And plus it was round, so I didn't want to try and cut it, cut it freehand on the band saw. It's not safe. But the jig is really easy. You can actually use this same jig for cutting uh, blanks for bowls and things like that but it works really easy uh, what I did to make the jig it just clamps up against my fence and I marked out an inch each time going back and just kind of a random one I haven't used all of them but but this one it works great it creates a nice little arc in a piece if you're not doing a full circle on it and that's what creates that wave look like the box I did after I got all the hot glue cleaned off, I put this back in the same size container that my cast the piece in. So what I wanted was a wave that was about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick going through the center of this thing. I'm going to make it translucent. So I kind of wanted you know, it, it to be a nice thick line so you could see through it. So I glued a piece of plywood on there. I measured everything, glued a piece of plywood and then a stick going across it and that raised it up with that bucket I'm using to have a nice wave going through the center of it. And the bottom piece, so you don't want the resin pouring around the outside of it. So I took and ran a bead of hot glue around around that. Actually, and I was a little worried at first when I started pouring the resin in, but it, it didn't leak. So I was all happy about that. So just, I one drop of that Alumalite, uh, the dye, and I was like, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be too much, but when once it got to that, you know, three quarter wave thickness, you can still see through it, which is really cool. But I was one drop. That's they when it says concentrated, that's a, they really mean that. So don't don't put too much in if you're trying to get a translucent look to it. Um, and I waited a couple of days on this before I turned it and just cut it out of the blank because of the hot glue and everything else that was in there, it, it wouldn't pop out. But I cut it out and got ready to turn it. I turned the whole piece at about 2,500 RPMs and I used the number one hollower with the negative rate cutter on it. The only time I used another chisel was when I was cutting off the little wood block on the end and I used the just regular cutter for that. It's um, and just kind of, I did a sphere shape. I just did it by hand. I kept uh, checking it with the calipers, but it's kind of you know a long, messy process. So we'll get to turning it, and then we'll come back and uh, take a look at it.
After I got the little nubs turned off, I sanded the whole thing out with 240. It gives the epoxy something to bite to. And on one end, it did have a little hole in it from the spur center. So what I did was I just drilled it out just a little bit so I could get a screw into it so I could coat it with epoxy. And I just ran that through a board to hold it up off of that. It's I really love it. It's uh, I just used the quick coat for the for the finish coat on it and I know you can't see it me holding on to it like this but it looks awesome and you can see really see right through that blue line um, it just just looks cool I'll put it on a little turntable here in a second but very cool again Mike thank you so much uh, very cool it's cool hanging out with you guys and I think this casting turned out great and I love the uh, all the gold in it it just you could see all that and super happy all right, till next time, take care.